welcome weekly project review with Justin and Corey. Fun one today, uh, Dogecoin. So this one has been quite the roller coaster ride to watch uh, from an experienced investor and trader's point of view. Uh, it took a lot of us by surprise just at how fast something could grow based on network effect alone without any fundamentals, without any tech, without anything really other than being listed on Robinhood. So uh, it's been quite a ride since then. Uh, it does sound like it's made some major improvements. So uh, we can dive right into the website, or I guess may as well start with CoinGecko. Always start with CoinGecko. <laughs> Always start with CoinGecko. <laughs> so we yeah, got a dodge in there. That's right. So we got Dogecoin, uh, Dogecoin here. Doge is the ticker. So this is the famous Elon Musk coin that that pumped this thing up. And I've heard stories that over the past three four years, the uh, there's a there was a massive increase in in crypto users and holders, and thirty to forty percent of the new users were from Dogecoin alone. So yeah. as as Corey said, Doge, you know, took the world by surprise because it it's it's literally a joke they they created this project and this coin as a joke of the american dollar because so the american dollar if you dive into tokenomics and whatnot you know it's it's questionable when you're when you've been in crypto for a bit and what you're looking for a good project so dogecoin took that and basically created a u.s dollar system and improved it and got and improved the tokenomics to make it fit in the crypto world so Dogecoin right here, you got the cute little dog. So this is one of the meme coins that has been blowing up all over the place and literally had zero utility for probably a year, year and a half, even more before, you know, the amount of money from the network effect that poured into this project. And like they, they had no choice but to start investing into development. And now, you know, you can buy flights with it. There's There's a couple other use cases. But as we dive in here, um, so there's our main website. They do have their chain. So they are supported by all major wallets because they have made such a big impact in the space. It's got a massive community. It's definitely worth diving in there. It can be entertaining at times for sure. Uh, but looking at the information we love CoinGecko for, so there's our market cap. Um, so number currently number 10 by market cap on the list for top 100. Uh, decent trading volume, our circulating supply. And there's that little nasty infinite sign for total <laughs> supply that we're always looking at uh, for long-term investments and things like that. So, you know, tokenomics might not be as good on this project as some of the other ones that we'll discuss, but it does have that networking effect. Could be something worth taking a look at long-term or even short-term type trades. Yeah, the original so, meme coin. The uh, original, yeah. <clears throat> that, that coming from a... Yeah, coming from a fairly serious, no fun kind of guy when it comes to trading and investing, um, I'm cold as ice. Uh, <laughs> so trading a coin that at the time didn't have any tech or fundamentals or anything really going for it, it was just not my forte. But watching that explosion, watching people having fun with this, the memes, the community, it was inspiring. It was really inspiring watching this all unfold. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I warned a lot of people about exiting uh, towards the first top, the second top, and then I haven't heard anything really since. So I haven't kept too much of an eye on it as far as TA goes. But uh, as you can see, it's on pretty much every main exchange. You know, very great popular, liquidity. great liquidity, lots of trading volume as well. So you can definitely. Yeah. Get some larger positions in on this coin, regardless of the exchange that you're utilizing. Yes. So, and then for those that aren't familiar, there is, I, I can't remember where you find the stats, but it's very few wallets hold the majority of the supply as well. So that's something to be very careful of. There was one guy that did unload um, after that one major pullback uh, a little while back. If you want to just scroll up to the price. Maybe we can see that. Uh, over here. Here we go. Yeah, just go to the go to the one year or the max. I guess it's been that long. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. So 
Yeah, so that big spike, that initial pullback, um, that was one major, I, feel, I believe, that was caused by one wallet. So there has been some volatility with that. But uh, yeah, not a super happy chart, but one that we see quite often in crypto. And it's starting to stabilize there too towards the end. So um, they have started more development you know the team has come a long ways they've added developers um it's not something i personally invest in still i'm still that you know grinch when it comes to trading and investing i'll trade it if it looks good but uh being top 10 you know there's not the volatility that i look for in typical day trades where i'm looking you know 25 to 55 percent it takes a lot of capital to get this thing going 25 to 55%. So pretty similar, um, minus 75% down. But uh, let's just touch on this story. I like that they've got a better story here. Um, you want me to read that out? May as well. Some yeah. people might be listening in. All right, so Dogecoin is a cryptocurrency that was created December 6, 2013, based on the popular Doge internet meme and features a Shiba Inu on its logo. So the code, code base of the project was a fork of Litecoin. So that's that's pretty cool to know. In which most of the same features, such as hashtag hashing or hash hashing algorithm was inherited with the only difference of branding and large inflationary supply introduces a joy, joke currency. So Dogecoin quickly developed its own community online and reached capitalization of 60 million in US dollars January 2014. Compared with other cryptocurrencies, Doge has a fast initial coin production schedule. 100 billion coins were in circulation by mid 2015. This is a project that opened up late 2013. So tons there. With an additional 5.256 billion coins every year thereafter, as of the 30th of January 2015, the 100 billion Dogecoin had been mined. And like Corey said, um, you know, we, we call it rug pull events. So if there is an asset, you know, finite or infinite, you're basically just looking at circulating supply. If there's an asset which we can go through blockchain scans and find which wallets are holding what that have, you know, a handful of watts that own the high majority of the coins. That's something you want to be very, very cautious with, practice the right uh, risk management, stop losses in place. It's you're at risk with that. Um, so this was developed by Billy Marcus from Portland, Oregon, and Jackson Palmer out of Sydney, Australia, and they both wanted to create a fun cryptocurrency that will appeal beyond the core Bitcoin audience. So Dogecoin is primarily used as a tipping system on Reddit and Twitter, where users tip each other for creating and sharing content. The community is very active and organizing fundraising activities for deserving causes. And Elon Musk really kind of took the lead on the community and you know everyone just follows that word and, and waits for him to make a tweet. Myself included, when I first got into crypto, um, I think I downloaded Twitter because of Elon Musk and literally just watched his tweets on cryptocurrency and, and made a determination if it was going to be a positive or negative sentiment and adjusted my trades and portfolio accordingly. But pretty wild. Anything else you want to touch on in here? Uh, not in there. I've got the blockchain scan pulled up. <laughs> so... Yeah, this is what we're talking about when we're talking the wallet holdings. So if you click on blockchain, that link in CoinGecko, you can see some of the biggest holdings. Uh, number one being 40 billion. 40 billion coins. And then second being seven. So a lot of zeros in there. Um, this is where one of those guys dumps. It can end the show for price you know even though it's got good liquidity that takes a pretty good hit so That's and then it drops really quick in there so 40 yeah. billion out of a total 136 billion coins yeah that's crazy so he can't he can't sell he can't move if he moves his coins everyone else scatters for sure yeah. that's the thing with public blockchains 
So the yeah, five holders hold a good portion. Five top five wallets hold a good portion of the total supply. The top ten, you know, it's pretty similar. But just a little risk of, you know, some forewarning. Uh, there is another project out there that people do love, Shiba Inu. So if you're super into memes and dogs and, you know, projects like that, check it out. Uh, they do have a cool little fundraiser, too. Um, we can touch on that during the Shiba Inu review. But uh, or did we touch on that one already? Nope, I think that one's okay. coming up here soon. <laughs> the only other we thing so I have... much content we can't even remember. <laughs> the only other thing I have is their website. So again, you can oh, get yes. all the main links right here on the side of CoinGecko. So there's that beautiful little dog that people just fell in love with and just threw cash at this thing. And and they're most of them are doing pretty good. We'll see. You know, if they were trading and proper risk management, they're probably doing okay if they got in early. But uh, so open source peer-to-peer -peer digital currency is the solution they bring to the table. That's their use case. And we're starting to see more and more adoption of Deutschcoin for, for payments. So like we read in CoinGecko, you got Twitter and Reddit where people are using it to uh, tip content creators, which, you know, that's the next wave. That's Web3 stuff. That's where we want to be, that ownership of content and getting paid for it. But really a good website, tons and tons of information in here. And then as well, like we always look for, you can connect with the community, really dive in and, and see what, what people are doing and what the community is voting on and, and the direction the project's going to take. Um, all your white paper, everything in here. You know, it would take us quite a while to go through here. But anything specific you want to see in here, Corey, for this video? Uh, not so much. The website yeah. is a big part. You know, I think we've been pretty thorough. It's, yeah, something that will always be remembered, if nothing else. But, uh, yeah. Be oh, that's, this. that's a good message right there, Corey. Do only good every day. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, community driven. So, if nothing else, check it out. Just, you know, read into the story a bit more um, in depth. Uh, we covered it pretty well here, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool what they did. So um, that's it for me for this week. Any closing words, Justin? No, just looking to connect with everyone, um, see what you guys are getting value out of this, or if there's anything else you guys would like to see us touch on in future project reviews, um, something to dive in a little more deep on. You know, this is really just about growing as a community, learning together and and adoption. Adoption's everything, right? If we're all pushing for crypto um, to be the next wave, the next future financial system, at least be a part of the future, it's going to take education number one, community number two, and adoption. And that's what we're, that's why we do what we do. So, absolutely. So, couldn't have said it better myself. See you same time, same place next week. And uh, yeah, as always, practice proper risk management. Take care, everyone.